welcome back to Chem Awesome. In this video, we are going to explore what is Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement, their basics, mechanism, and examples. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to get more in depth discussions like this. Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement is a base catalyzed rearrangement of aromatic ortho azeloxy ketone into the corresponding aromatic beta diketones, is known as the Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement. We can simply say that. This azeloxy group, here you see this azeloxy group is attached with oxygen, which is migrated to this particular carbon, which results that to provide corresponding 1,3 dicarbonyl compounds. So this class of reaction is called baker wenger traumann rearrangement. So in case of base, we can use variety of base, for example, potassium hydroxide, potassium tetraributoxide in DMSO, Sodium metal in toluene, sodium or potassium hydride, pyridine, and triphenyl methyl sodium. Those kind of bases are highly useful for the generation of this class of compounds. So, this class of 1,3 dicarbonyl compounds, that means that beta diketones are important synthetic intermediates and they are widely utilized for the synthesis of various natural products such as pheromones, flavones, and isoflavones and coumarins. To explore the mechanism behind this rearrangement reaction. Now you consider this starting material. So here you see this carbon, alpha carbon having acetic hydrogen. Since so this carbon near to this carbonyl group, therefore this position is acidic. So when you use base, which readily abstracts this proton, which produce this corresponding inlet ion. So after the generation of this inlet ion, now you see this negative charge come in, then this pi electron attacks this carbonyl carbon and followed by this pi electrons move towards to this oxygen atom which results that generation of this tetrahedral intermediate. After the generation of tetrahedral intermediate, here you see this negative charge comes in then followed by this carbon oxygen bond cleave to produce this corresponding intermediate. When you do acid workup which readily pick up the hydrogen atom from acid which readily produce this 1,3 dicarbonyl compound. Simply, we can say this one is intramolecular Cartesian condensation type of a reaction. However, uh, this rearrangement reaction is somewhat different from Tickman cyclization or Tickman condensation reaction, where the Tickman cyclization reaction, which produce beta diketo ester, while Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement produce beta dicarbonyl, I mean diketone compounds. Let's see some of the examples based on. Baker Wenger Traumann rearrangement reaction. Now you consider this example. So, when you take this compound, when you use base and followed by acid workup, which readily produce this corresponding beta dicarbonyl compound. So, here you should note this. So, only this ortho position having benzyl group that only rearranged to produce this compound. However, this para position having benzyl group didn't involve this rearrangement reaction. So this is the next example, here you see, so this group, when you use sodium hydride and TH4, this azyl group that is transferred into this carbon to produce this 1,3 dicarbonyl compound as a product. So this is the another example, now you see, this compound react with cinnamoyl chloride in the presence of pyridine, which produce this corresponding product. When you use potassium hydroxide and DMSO, which readily undergo Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement reaction to produce this intermediate. So, this intermediate present in the keto enol tautomerism with this 1,3 dicarbonyl compound. So, this is the another example. So, this one is a anthroquinone compound. So, here you see this oxygen having azyl group. When you use lithium hydride and THF, which readily undergo Becker Wenger Traumann rearrangement. So here you see this acyl group transferred into this carbon to produce this corresponding product. Apart from this, in becker wenger Traumann rearrangement reaction, sometimes cyclization product also observed. So this is one of the examples. For that, we should see how you make this compound. So here you see this benzoic acid derivative. When you treat with this phenolic compound in the presence of DCC DMAP condition, which readily produce this coupling product, then followed by when you use pyridine potassium hydroxide condition which readily undergo rearrangement to produce this corresponding 1,3 dicarbonyl compound. However, this compound also present in the base. 
therefore which readily takes the proton from this acidic position to produce this corresponding carbon ion this carbon ion readily attacks this ester carbonyl compound and followed by this pi electron move towards to the oxygen then followed by comes in which kick off methoxy group to produce this pi membered uh, ring system so after this generation of pi membered ring system once again this system also present in the base therefore when you use base which readily abstract the proton from this hydroxy group so now this o negative charge attacks this one of the carbonyl carbon so which readily produce this corresponding cyclized product so this type of reaction also possible in becker wenger traman rearrangement reaction so this is the another example now you consider this example when you use potassium carbonate which readily undergo becker wenger traman rearrangement reaction then followed by when you use acid which readily undergo cyclization reaction so now you see how this happened so this carbonyl oxygen readily protonated by acid now this hydroxy group readily attacks this carbonyl carbon which produce tetrahedral intermediate then which then uh, readily abstract this proton then followed by kick off as a water molecule to produce this corresponding product so this is the another example for cyclization type of reaction so when you use potassium carbonate by taking this starting material which readily undergo becker wenger traman rearrangement reaction so here you see this acyl group transferred into this carbon then followed by here you see this o negative charge which readily attacks this carbon having chlorine as a leaving group which readily produce this pi membered ring system an example we already seen that how this ortho azelaic group transferred or rearranged to produce this corresponding 1,3 dicarbonyl compound just like that if you having azelaic group in the peri position when you use base this type of compound also undergo becker wenger traman rearrangement reaction to produce this corresponding 1,3 dicarbonyl compounds so finally we come to the end today we explored what is becker wenger traman rearrangement their basics as well as mechanism and followed by uh, we seen the various solved examples based on becker wenger traman rearrangement i hope this video has enhanced your knowledge on becker wenger traman rearrangement if you enjoy this video just like share and comment if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to get more in depth discussions like this so here some of the practice problems when you get the free time you just to give you a try until next time bye bye mm -hmm.